Hello friends, in this operating system class we will see the program threads that will come under 5th unit protection and security. Uh, in today's class we will discuss what is program threads and some standard threads are there. Uh, Trojan horse, trapdoor, logic bomb, stack and buffer overflow and virus. Let us see all those things one by one. Before that let us discuss something about the program threads. The common goal of crackers or attacker is to break the security of system or causing a normal process to change its behavior. Okay, this is the common goal of cracker or attacker. Here there are two types of threads. First one is program thread and second one is system thread. Let us see program thread first. The program was written by cracker to hijack the security or to change the behavior of normal process ok so the program that will hijack the security or change the normal behavior of the process is called as program thread if the program is altered that is if any of user program is altered and further made to perform some malicious unwanted task ok the normal program will be altered to do some unwanted task then this is known as program thread right ok next one is system thread here the threads are involved abuse of system services right ok they attempt to create a situation in which the operating system resources and user files are misused ok misusing the resources and user files are called as system thread they also use a medium, medium means the communication medium to launch the program threads. Okay, by using any of the medium like internet, they can launch the program threads in the computer system. Some of the standard program threads are uh, Trojan horse, trapdoor, logic bomb, stack and buffer overflow and virus. Let us see these things one by one. The first one is Trojan horse. It is a malicious program that may give full control of an infected PC to other PC. Okay, here the Trojan horse is a code segment that tries to misuse its own environment. Okay, see this is our system. Once the Trojan horse entered into our system, then the full control of this particular PC will be taken care of the other PC. Okay, from this PC we can control the affected PC ok and the malicious programs are actually looks very attractive but they are very harmful and they actually serve a virus carriers ok and these code segments that is the Trojan horse are hidden as attachments of emails free to download files and transfer to users devices this is how the Trojan horse files will be transferred to the user device. Okay, once the file got downloaded, the malicious code will execute the task like uh, gain backdoor access to corporate system, spy on users online activity or steal the sensitive data. Hence, we have to uh, careful while downloading the free attachments of email and free downloaded files or any attractive advertisement from the internet. The second one is trapdoor or a backdoor. It is a kind of secret entry point into the program or the system which allows to gain the access to any system without going through the usual security procedures. That is without any security procedures the trapdoor program can access all the system activities. Okay, it is a method for bypassing normal authentication methods and it is quite difficult to detect. So, detecting trapdoor is very very difficult. Normally, programmers use trapdoor legally to debug and test the programs. When it will become illegal, uh, illegal when the dishonest programmer gain illegal access. If it access illegally and threat all our programs, then it will become a trapdoor. Okay, the program development and software update activities should be first focus the security measures, right? 
but when come to operating system the control the trap door is very difficult to implement the third one is logic bomb a program that initiates a security incident only under certain circumstances and this will be very hard to detect because under normal operations there would no security hole okay when uh, a predefined set of parameters met the security hole will be created okay this is called as logic bomb so under normal circumstances there is no security issues but when a predefined set of parameters met then the security hole will be created this is called as logic bomb the next one is stack and buffer overflow here the attacker will stay outside the system and they will use network or dial up connections to gain unauthorized access to the target system okay here the attacker creates a bug program that is an error program that will be injected to the target system and the bug can be simple case of poor programming okay in which the programmer neglected to code bounds a uh, check on the input field they will check only the input field not the program so in this case the attacker sent more data than the program was expecting hence the stack will be overflowed or buffer will be overflowed for this the attacker will follow three steps the first step is overflow the input field command line argument and buffer that is input buffer everything will be overflowed and overwrite the current return address of the stack okay once the stack got overflowed then the current return address will be changed with the address of exploit code loaded in the step 3 okay uh, that means write a simple set of code for the next space in the stack okay once the stack got overflowed then where the data will be stored for that they are writing a simple code and the next data will be stored in some other program okay that includes commands that attacker wish to execute okay for example uh, they will create virus program to steal the data from the target pro target computer the most dangerous program threat is virus it is a fragment of code embedded in a normal program and the virus all self replicating and are designed to infect the other programs okay self replicating means it will copy multiple times by itself in the computer systems okay then virus can modify or destroy the system files and causing the system crashes and program malfunctioning hence the virus is called as most dangerous one okay these are very specific to architecture that is computer architecture operating system and the applications which are installed in the computer system okay this are normally copied via email and they can also spread when users download viral programs from internet file sharing services or exchange infected disk so through this the virus can be easily copied to the normal system up to this we have seen some standard program threats uh, they are the trojan horse trap door logic bomb stack and buffer overflow and finally virus in the next class we will see more about this virus thank you